In 24 hours it closes. Tonight a judge will decide whether farmers can delay the end of an era on their riverfront. It's a story we've been following not far away from Brandenburg, Kentucky. But as Chris Williams reports, even if the law rules for the Meade County farmers, it may do little to keep their grain elevator running past tomorrow. Vultures perched atop the CGB grain elevator in Meade County, an ominous sign with the clock ticking to Friday's deadline. This place was so much more quiet than it's been in recent months. Few trucks coming and going. Today, I want to hear uh, about the immediate and irreparable injury that would be caused by closing this grain facility. Farmers flocked to the courthouse. They filed a restraining order to prevent CGB from beginning demolition and making way for the $1.3 billion new core steel mill. They claim the deal is illegal. County officials violated open meetings laws so the elevator could sell its lease to the steel company. A former Riverport Authority board member said he was booted after refusing to sign off on the deal. And I read through it and it was pretty obvious to me right now it was devastating to the farmers in the area. Uh, we will stop uh, receiving rain uh, tomorrow, uh, January 31st. An elevator employee laid out costs in planning for the closing and demolition of the site. And the new man in charge of the steel plant talked about his excitement joining the community, closing on a house and waiting for 400 more employees to become Meade County residents too. But he said two things that don't play well together are grain and steel barges. And for safety's sake, there should be no delay come Friday. The judge could hand down his decision at any time. The farmers have to wait. But, but I'm not against Nucor. We, we, need, we need jobs. Then why are you fighting this? Because they're getting in my pocket. You know, I don't feel I should have been sacrificed, you know, so for this big project, you know. Whatever the judge decides, CGB insists they cannot ship grain out of here after Sunday. So even if there is a restraining order, it's unclear what future the farmers have with this grain elevator. In Meade County, Chris Williams, WHAS 11 News.